Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Let me put my mic on. Didn't have my mic on. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All the links are below if you need to get in contact with me. All right, let's get into this Pisces. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Pisces Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Pisces, this is when I, okay, so I was like shuffling off camera, saw the two of pentacles, kept shuffling, saw it again. Um, I don't know if, um, so this talks about needing to make a decision, secret knowledge, okay? Um, I don't know if there's somebody who is juggling you or you juggling them. I don't know if there are two people who independently know about each other um, or have some type of intuitive knowing about the other person, but it looks like somebody's trying to grow two, two things in two different places. So this could be two relationships with two different people because we have the green band around holding the pentacles together so it's like independent knowledge with the yellow knowledge uh, of one another and this person that you that you're getting juggled or that this person is juggling you so it's like in the, it's like two people know about each other and they're not letting this juggler this juggling person go and this juggler knows that he's being watched but he just keeps up the act because that's what jugglers do they typically on stage which is life. They know that people are watching them. So they're going to keep up the act. That's what they're getting paid to do. This person doesn't seem. They don't feel like this is a, a stressful thing. It's not causing them stress. They're not like. Oh God I got two people. I have to divide my time and energy to. No. It, you know. It's. It's working for them. It's um, synchronicity. It's up and down. It's. When I put one down, I'll pick the other one up. I don't know. So you could be being juggled. Let's see what's going on for Pisces this week. What's going on for Pisces this week? Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. So I don't know if you are... And it could also be in resources here. You could be transferring money. You got to put money over here to, to cover this, cover that. Um, balancing the books. Looking at how much money you're spending doing this, doing that. Um, just really... Um, Keeping it all up in the air until something can actually come in for you. Um, it's something that you're doing every single day. You're just balancing it all out, making it make sense. Uh, making decisions in terms of your money here. Uh, it says that, yes, you may be, and you also could be doing two things to earn income. So you're running over here, you're doing this, and then you're running over here, and you're doing that. You're putting, you're dividing your time, you know, to bring in income here. Could be doing that or you're just really um yeah some of you entrepreneurs here and so you're or you're trying to be and, and so you don't have a lot of time you have a lot of effort you don't have a lot of money to waste or to spend on certain things so you, you're getting very creative here with the two of pentacles the five of pentacles says that there's an energy of somebody feeling left out okay there's an energy of somebody feeling like this is they don't have confidence in this moving forward that, because it's too you know, it's unstable. There's an unstable energy about this. Also, there's maybe even an aggression or selfishness about maybe you, Pisces, or the other person. It says that somebody feels ignored, um, shunned, uh, neglected here in a relationship. Maybe even in a love affair. Somebody has turned their energy to something else. Which has left someone feeling impoverished. It's a temporary energy, the Five of Pentacles. So do know that it can be changed. And if this is in your money sector, know that it's a temporary energy. It can be changed. If you want more money, do more work. I don't know where you're going to do the work. I don't know how you're going to do the work. Ask for more hours, get another job. But if you want more, you do more, right? If you want less, you do less. 
it's just the way life works. Um, don't let this temporary energy of the Five of Pentacles set in because this card comes with a, uh, a story. Greek goddess Penia or Pania uh, goes around knocking on the villagers' doors, hoping that one of the villagers will let her in. And once you really let her in, it's hard to get her out. And they're really talking about poverty or an impoverished mind state. Um, when you stay here longer than you should, it's going to be hard to get out of it. Because now it's not just affecting your, your pockets, your wallet, your purse. It's affecting your mind. Also, it says in the Five of Pentacles, those who are strong in their self-worth can never be used. I think some of you feel like you're being used, okay? Um, but if you know what you're bringing to every table, even if the table is a bit taboo, if you know what you're bringing to any and every table, no one can use you. You just have to stand on your worth, demand it, and add tax. Some of you who are in third-party situations, if you are the other woman, you need to know your worth in that connection. You're keeping a marriage together. Essentially, if it weren't for you, your person wouldn't be able to go home at night. Wouldn't be happy. Wouldn't be able to do it. It would be unbearable, intolerable. So your worth is keeping that marriage together for some of you. And you need to know that. And you need to add tax to it. I don't know who needs to hear that. It is what it is. Don't at me. Don't argue with me in the comments. You won't get a response. Um, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Somebody knows about something. Someone wants the knowledge, though. Someone could be, you know, slinging the sword, laying the hammer down. This is how it's going to be. This is what I want. Somebody's feeling jaded here. The Six of Cups. It could be um, that you're dealing with a Scorpio. If you're not dealing with a Scorpio, someone could be dealing with someone from their childhood, someone that they were brought up with. Um, also, this is a uh, petty arguments. This is childish, immature arguments because someone fails. They fail to take responsibility in the part that they're playing in all of this. So it just turns into petty arguments. Someone fails to see the reality of this connection, of what it is. What can Pisces, what's the advice for Pisces this week? What's the, the advice? This, okay. The Knight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. The advice for you here is um, intellectualize your viewpoint. It doesn't have to be emotional. Intellectualize your viewpoint. Persuade people to see things how you see it. Take the emotion out of it. And help others understand where you're coming from. And it seems as if you will do that. You're determined to get your voice heard. Or make your voice be known or heard here in this connection. Somebody's older than you. And they feel like they can kind of lord over you. Or kind of talk over you. Or that they know more than you. Uh, maybe even going as far as to say that they're better than you. The Seven of Pentacles, it says, um, make your grievances known. Intellectualize your viewpoint so someone can't argue with it. Um, when you're in your emotions, it's, it's easy for someone to rattle you. It's easy for someone to sway the conversation. Seven of Pentacles says that you're frustrated with how something is going, how a relationship is going, but you're willing to see it through to the end. 
It also says that um, there's been a period of nothing, of inactivity, of someone just not putting in the work and the time and the effort with you. You're waiting for things to change, to turn over, because you feel like you have made such a significant investment, therefore you should be moving to a new state of being, a new cycle with your person, in this relationship, in this business, in whatever it is you're in. Or this is how somebody feels about you. What is the energy external to Pisces? Energy external to Pisces. The Ace of Pentacles. So it seems as if someone wants to start again, a new start, a new foundational start. Someone wants to make up by way of, let's get physical, you know. Um, someone could be offering you a gift. What's external to you is um, someone's having a new start also. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Pentacles here? The Nine of Pentacles. Someone is definitely relying on themselves, wanting to go it alone. Little intimacy and a connection. They want this to be surface level. All, all the way. They don't want to go deep with you. They don't want the strong ties and the bonds here. This person has solo plans for themselves. This person really um, is keeping people outside of their heart space, outside of their home, if you will. Um, this person definitely is saying, I can do this all on my own and I know my worth and I know what I bring. I'm the catch here. I'm the walking garden. I make things grow. That's what your person is saying. And they're comfortable in that nine of pentacles energy. Your person could also be having a new start somewhere else with that ace of pentacles. Or this just speaks of lack of progression. There's no progression here. It's the same thing over and over again. With two cards, yeah, King of Swords. No, no, I knew it. Secret. And there's a, there's a secret person. It's a decision that needs to be made about this other woman and the main woman. But this person is not choosing. Um, you know about the other woman. They know about you. You know if you are the main woman. Main, you know about the other woman, and the other woman knows about you. Everybody knows about everybody, but nobody's moving. It looks as if somebody thinks that they're the prize. They act single. They do single things. They make singular plans. This is what it is. This is how they are. They are coming up as the king of swords. Maybe even the covert in this energy. The covert narcissist. Um, they also could be coming up in the energy of just the eternal bachelor. Wanting to stay single for as long as possible. Uh, we'll have relationships. But they still come up in this energy. Um, the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Not really wanting to have an intimate connection where we're merging our lives and we're sharing and we're, we're um, vulnerable. And there's um, intimate conversation and you know all of my secrets and you know. Somebody doesn't want it. They just don't want it. And that is not how they're coming up. And then how they're coming up is exactly that way. Uh, the King of Swords, very high standards. Even if he does settle, or when he does settle, his standards are very high, even for himself. This is a very ambitious person, and they actually succeed because they know, um, they know a lot, and they know their direction, and they know their value. They know what they have to bring to every table here. Pisces, you're dealing with somebody who just feels like they're going to do whatever it is they want because they can. If you're the main woman, you feel like this other woman is a threat, is a threat to your connection. And maybe she is or maybe she isn't. It doesn't seem as if your person wants to make a decision on you or the other person. They're okay with juggling. They've found comfort in just that you have to determine where's your comfort if it's not in this 
get out of it. If it is, be quiet. This is what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates where you go, over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.